Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining. I am Maria Didus, the head of communications in Tallinn Avesi, and I welcome you all today's Tallinn Avesi webinar. This webinar will be hosted by Alexander Timofeev, Chief Executive Officer, and Davi Grön, Chief Financial Officer. Firstly, Alexander Timofeev and Davi Grön will introduce the highlights of the fourth quarter and 12 months of 2022. The presenter will also speak about Tallinn Avesi's operational and financial results of the fourth quarter and also of the whole year. Alexander will give an overview about some of the investments made in the fourth quarter and in 12 months 2022. Right after the presentation, you will have the opportunity to ask questions. It is also possible to type in your questions during presentation, but this will be answered in the end part of the webinar. To submit your questions, please use the question box on the right side of the screen. Now I will give over to Alexander and Davi. Here you go. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to welcome you today here in our webinar. Here are some of the highlights from 2022. The services agreement signed with the city of Tallinn upon the presentation, uh, privatization of as Tallinn Water expired at the end of 2022. The new administrative contract with the city was entered into the period of 1st December 2022 till 30th November 2032. The new administrative contract is aimed at ensuring high quality water services for city residents and entrepreneurs. The preparation of a Tallinn public water supply and sewage development plan for the next 12 years is also currently underway. The aim of that document is to set a direction for the development of the water sector in Tallinn, and it will also be the framework for the preparation of the development and investment plan of Tallinn Navisi. In addition to investments, in the well-functioning water and wastewater treatment and water and sewage network, we have taken action to reduce companies' environmental impact. Today, all the energy used at our facilities and in treatment process is already from the renewable sources. In 2022, we prepared a climate impact reduction plan for the company and set ourselves several ambitious targets. We aim to grow investments in fixed assets to secure sustainable infrastructure and continuity of a service. In 2022, we invested 25 million euros in our capital assets, increasing, amongst other things, the volume of reconstructed water pipes and sewers to 19 kilometers. In 2022, a number of ongoing projects continued, such as a reconstruction of effluent outlet tower the civil reconstruction works in the main pumping station at Palasare and the reconstruction of air tanks. In addition, a new point of reception for sewage sludge from septic trucks was completed and the new raw sludge thickeners were installed at Palasare. Watercom delivered more sales and profit in 2022 than ever before. For the first time, the biggest contribution to external profit came from a road construction activity. In 2022, the company successfully launched a new manhole repair service, and at the end of the year, an ice picking equipment was delivered, which allows to clean water pipes by applying the most innovative technology currently used in Northern Europe. Tallinn Water started with smart meters installation in third quarter of 2022. There have been difficulties with supply of meters because of a lack of chips. By the end of 2022, approximately 4% of our customers got, small, got new smart meter. By the end of 2023, the company plans to install smart meters to 40% of our customers. We continued cooperation with three Estonian universities and trade schools under which 13 scholarships were awarded to support active students specialized in areas related to the company's core business. In 2022, IS Tallinn Avesi representatives took part at Expo 2020 in Dubai in Water Business Forum and opened it to the public history about 
ASTV's 30-year success. In December 2022, company organized a Water Day event for partners. Event took place at Ulemist treatment plant. It was possible to watch event also online. Presentations and discussions were related to the climate improvement, challenges of water business and customer expectations. I'll go to the investments now. We constantly put in effort to improve our vital services. In 2022, we carried out investments projects for 25 million euros. In 2022, a number of ongoing projects continued, such as a reconstruction of effluent outlet tower, a civil reconstruction works in the main pumping station at Palasara, and the reconstruction of air tanks. In addition, a new point of reception sewage sludge from septic trucks was completed and the new raw sludge thickeners were installed. We significantly increased investments to water and waste water networks. In total, we renovated over 19 kilometers of pipes last year. This is more than in any of the, our previous years over the past decade. The pipes were renovated on Yarvevana Road, Silla Street, Linnamay Road, Raba Street, residential driveways in Lisma, in Aston Gurea, and in many other streets. The renovations made will help to secure a reliable water supply for a large number of Tallinners. 2022 saw the reconstruction of Velodrome pumping station, the installation of UV equipment in several pumping stations, and the reconstruction of pipelines, allowing additional coordination of water in the water network. Our capital investments into the network ensure uninterrupted water and sewage service and reliability of water supply to consumers also in the future. A little bit about operation results. The company operation results uh, in 2022 were very good. The quality of drinking water in Tallinn was excellent, being 99.84% compliant with all requirements. We took a total of 3,086 water samples from our customer taps during 2022. Top level tap water was ensured by an effective water treatment process, continuous preventive maintenance works in the water network and investments made in recent years in water pumping stations. In the fourth quarter, ice picking equipment was delivered to Tallinn and maintenance of water pipeline started already in December. Wastewater treated at the Palasara wastewater treatment plant also maintains a high level of quality, being again fully compliant with all the set requirements last year. The significantly lower indicators of pollutants are the proof of excellent quality of effluent discharge to the sea and the good work of our teams. Our goal is to deliver high quality service to our customers and within 12 months our customer satisfaction was 4.3 points out of 5, which is a very, very good result. The leakage rate in the last quarter of 2022 was 15.3%, which is lower rate to the same period last year. In 2022, the leakage rate in overall was 16%. We always try to disturb our customers as little as possible, and we do everything to supply our customers with drinking water. The average water interruption per property lasted three hours and 12 minutes, which is shorter than in 2021. In terms of enhancing the reliability of water supply service to our customers, within the last 12 months, we have reconstructed over 19 kilometers of pipes. Now I will give over to Tavi, who will go into details about the financial results. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander. I will now uh, give a short overview of the financial performance of uh, Dalina Vesi in the fourth quarter and for the 12 months of uh, 2022. Let's start off with a quick uh, comment on latest economic forecast. Estonian Central Bank uh, forecast finds that uh, consumption will be reduced by a higher inflation and, and the profitability of the companies will decline. The, the economic 
economies uh, is expected to grow a little during this year, um, but mainly because of increased uh, spending uh, by the public sector. Inf inflation uh, will continue to fall, but will remain on the high side, dropping a little below 10% in 2023. Uh, these trends have and will continue to affect uh, our, our operations and financial results. Compared to the fourth quarter in 21, uh, the total sales uh, revenues increased by 7%, amounting to 16 million euros. In, in 12 months, the sales increased by 2% uh, to 54.6 million euros. In both periods, uh, the sales were mainly impacted by higher water service revenues, while construction revenues were decreasing. The gross profit for Q4 in 22 was uh, 4.5 million euros, down by 6% or 3.5 million euros compared to the same period in 21. In 12 months, uh, the gross profit decreased by 18% or 3.7 million euros. The gross profit uh, was mainly impacted by a higher cost of goods and services sold, which uh, was close to fully balanced by higher water service revenues. In Q Q4 in 22, the operating profit was 2.8 million euros or 0 0.6 million euros lower than in the same period in 21, being mainly impacted by changes in gross, gross profit and higher administrative and marketing expenses. In 12 months, the operating profit was 11.3 million euros or 7.5 million euros lower, reflecting the same trends as in last quarter and accompanied by by freezing the chains of provision of third, uh, possible third-party claims in, in Q4 2021. In total, uh, the reduction uh, in the provision in 21 amounted to 3.6 million euros. Compared to the fourth quarter in 21, the net profit of the company was 2.4 million euros or 0 0.8 million euros lower being mainly impacted by changes mentioned, but uh, also by increase in interest expenses due to changes in euro rate. In 12 months, the net profit was 8.4 million euros or 7.8 million euros lower compared to the uh, same period last year. On uh, the next slide, I will comment on the changes in revenues and, and expenses in more detail. Uh, total sales revenues for the fourth quarter uh, of 21 increased by 7%, amounting to 16 million euros. In 12 months, the sales increased by 2% to 54.6 million euros. In the fourth quarter, the total revenues from water services were by 13% or 1.6 million euros higher than in the fourth quarter of 21, and amounting to 13.5 million, million euros in total resulting mainly from tariff increase starting from 1st of October 2022. In 12 months, the sales of water services increased by 9% or 3.8 million euros, driven by changes in, changes in tariffs, higher commercial customer consumption and uh, stormwater revenues. In the fourth quarter, the private uh, customer revenues in main service area increased compared to the same period in 21 by 20 percent to 6 million euros, being mainly driven uh, by increase in tariffs. In 12 months, the private customer revenues increased by 3 percent to 20.8 million euros. In the fourth quarter, the commercial customer revenues in main service area increased compared to the same period in 21 by 12 percent to 4.3 million euros, driven by increase in consumption accompanied by tariff increase effective from 1st of October 22. The sales uh, to com commercial customers uh, were impacted by higher consumption of hotels and spas, rental services and uh, port. In 12 months, the commercial customer sales increased uh, by 16% to uh, 6.7 million euros, uh, being affected by the same uh, factors as, as mentioned in relation to fourth quarter. 
construction services uh, showed in the fourth quarter a decrease of uh, 15% or uh, 0 0.4 million euros and amounted to 2.4 million euros. Accordingly, we're also down construction-related construction services costs. On annual basis, uh, the construction services revenues were down by 34% or 2.5 million euros, totaling 4.8 million euros for the period. The decrease was mainly related to lower uh, bike construction revenues uh, won on the market, uh, accompanied by lower volume in the first nine months in the road construction. The latter impacted uh, by postponement of uh, procurement from public sector due to uncertainty on the markets. Uh, next, let's uh, take a look at the uh, costs. Uh, the total uh, costs uh, of goods sold increased by 14% or 1.4 million euros in uh, Q, Q4, amounting to 11.5 million euros. Uh, in 12 months, the increase was 15% uh, and amounted uh, to 37.7 million euros. Total uh, direct production costs increased in fourth quarter of 22 by 29 percent or 0 0.9 million euros primarily due to higher electricity costs. In 12 months the total direct production cost increased by 58 percent amounting to 13.6 million euros and were impacted by the same factors, high electricity and other variable costs. Ele electricity costs increased uh, close to two times due to an average uh, 62% higher electricity by price. Chemical costs uh, increased by 23%, driven primarily by price of uh, methanol. In the fourth quarter of 22, construction service costs uh, decreased by 13% to 1.9 million euros. In 12 months, the cost decreased by 37% to uh, 3.8 million euros. And we were related to lower construction services revenues uh, I mentioned earlier. In the fourth quarter of uh, 2022, salary costs increased by 14% to 2.2 million euros. The cost increase also in 12 months was 14%, amounting to 8.2 million euros, and were mainly affected by salary increases uh, of uh, every staff member, according to the uh, companies salary policies, and uh, also filling of uh, vacancies during the time period. Administrative and marketing expenses increased in um, Q4 of 22 by 17% uh, to 1.4 million euros, and in 12 months by 4% to 5.1 million euros, driven primarily by higher salary cost in both periods. In Q4 uh, of 22, uh, other net income and exp expenses amounted to net loss of 0 0.3 million euros compared to 0 0.2 million euros in comparative period. In 12 months, the corresponding figure amounted to loss of 0 0.5 million euros compared to uh, net income of 3.1 million euros in last year, and uh, this being mainly driven by freezing of the change of provision in the possible third party claims in uh fourth quarter fourth quarter uh, uh 21. now uh, let's take a look at the cash flows as of uh, 31st of uh, december 22 uh, the company's cash balance stood at 12.7 million euros forming five percent of uh, total assets Compared to the end of last quarter, the cash balance has, has uh, decreased by 4 million euros, mainly as a result of invest investments uh, related cash flows. The biggest contribution to the cash flows comes from main operations. During the 12 months of 22, uh, total operating cash flows amounted to 15 million euros, which is uh, 7.4 million euros lower than the comparative period last year. The company's collection of receivables continues to be high, being 99.85% uh, on average. 
the net cash flows uh, from investing activities during the 12 months of 22 resulted in cash outflow of 19 million euros, which is 8.2 million euros more than in the same period last year. The company's uh, financing cash flows during the 12 months of 22 were 19.9 million euros, being on the same level compared to the last year, same period. Uh, I will conclude my overview with this uh, and uh, thank you for your time. <clears throat> thank you both for the presentation. And uh, now we will proceed with the questions. And we have some questions sent in already. But we will also give you some minutes to submit your questions. And please feel free to type in any questions you might have.
Uh, thank you for the questions, and um, and we will proceed with these uh, in the order they have been received. Uh, the first question is by Sander Daniel, and the question is, when and how much you expect to save in electricity cost in connection to the planned new uh, CHP facility in Paljasara? And Alex, can you give answer? Yeah, thank you very much for the question. So the plan is that uh, CHP engine will be installed by the end of 2023. So we believe that the engine starts work at the end of fourth quarter. And uh, if we speak about uh, the savings, then our expectation is that uh, uh, during uh, 12 months, starting from the point when the CHP engine starts working, the company could save approximately 10,000 megawatt per hour energy. Uh, the second question also by Sander Daniel is, uh, please explain a 26% uh, joy increase in other cost of goods sold to 2 million euros in uh, Q4. Alex, can you give an answer? Yeah, thank you. So uh, the biggest impact on our costs uh, related uh, to the uh, heating and the uh, gas purchase uh, for the heating of our assets. And the third question also by Sander. Please specify the changes in water consumption volumes of private and corporate customers, uh, respectively in Q4. Davi, can you take this? Um, we have to keep in mind that uh, the overall impacts uh, on uh, annual level are uh, uh, quite small, uh, but uh, for, in our perspective, still significant. But uh, in uh, in uh, sales volumes uh, in uh, cubic meters, uh, the uh, uh, commercial uh, volumes increased by 3.7% uh, on an annual basis, and uh, uh, private uh, volumes uh, decreased by 1.5%. And uh, and uh, we can relate that to the changes in uh, in uh, uh, on the market regarding uh, the COVID restrictions and also the activation of free time sector and hotel spas and but also office buildings. Okay, thank you. And uh, the fourth question by Sander is um, uh, interest expenses for more than tripled QOQ in Q4. Are all EU loan contract rates already adjusted to current Euribor or further increases ahead? Davi, can you explain this as well? Uh, our adjustments uh, occurred uh, during uh, September and November, uh, so reflecting uh, the Euribor level in the given months. Uh, but as the Euribor uh, level has continued, to increase, uh, there will be increases ahead also during this year. Okay, thank you. And now we will give you one or two extra minutes to type in any questions if you have more. And here you go.
Thank you, Sander, for the last question, and Davi will uh, answer this. Uh, yes, this reflects uh, the annual uh, impact. Uh, Q, Q4 specifically was uh, a commercial uh, increase 7% and uh, private customers minus 2.2%. Thank you. Uh, seems like we don't have now any more questions and a recording of the presentation will be, uh, will be available in the Tallinna Vesis YouTube channel, webinar playlist shortly and presentation materials and reports can be found on Tallinna Vesis website as well. Davi Grön and Alexander Timofeev, thank you for the overview and thank you all for joining. Have a good day.